So in this video, I'll cover how to place a reveal into a wall and also a sweep, which in Revit, a sweep is just the opposite of, of a reveal. So that's uh, any protrusion sticking out of the wall, which would be anything from a brick ledge to a cornice. I'll also cover how to make your own custom reveals and sweeps. And since the process for making these is the same as making curtain wall mullions, I'll also cover how to make a custom curtain wall mullion at the end of the video. So if I wanted to reveal place in this west wall, um, you first have to go to an elevation view of the wall to place it. Zooming in, I will click on the elevation tag to bring up a view of the wall. And then going to the home tab at the ribbon at the top, I'll pull down the wall tool and choose reveal. Once I do that, hovering over the wall, I can click to place the reveal and then I'll just keep going to finish. When I'm done with the reveal across the entire face of the wall, I'll click finish current. I can also place uh, vertical reveals in the wall by clicking vertical at the top of the tool. And then I'll hit finish current. I'm going to hit escape a couple times to get out of the place reveal tool. Once the reveal is placed, you can always select it and then hold down on the mouse and drag it into position. Also when it's selected, temporary construction dimensions appear and you can click on these to change their value. You can also align and snap reveals to any edges in the model by choosing the align tool, going to the modify tab, click align, and then select the edge you wanted to snap it to and then select the edge of the reveal to bring it over. When you select a reveal, zooming in, you'll notice that the ends of them are little blue handles that you can grab and drag to change the length of them in the wall. you also notice that this isn't just one wall, it's actually two different pieces. And there's one more tool. If you select the reveal, you'll notice at the top an add remove walls tool. Clicking on that, you can choose the wall section and it will reveal it will remove the reveal from that wall section. If I select the reveal again and click add remove again, I can also add reveals back using the same tool. So you can see that once a reveal is placed in a wall, it's really easy to modify and to edit. But most of the time when you want to create a reveal in a wall, you're going to want to create your own custom shape or size. So to do that, you're going to have to first create a custom profile. The way Revit places reveals is it's actually placing a reveal based on a section that's drawn of it. And then it's just extruding that section along the face of the wall. So to create your own custom reveal or sweep, you need to create that for that profile section first. So to do that, um, we're going to create a new family. Uh, so go to the big R at the top of the screen, pull down and choose new and then family. You're going to want to browse to family templates and once you do, we want to look for a profile and since the reveal is hosted in a wall and we're making a profile for a reveal, we want profile dash reveal. So once you've selected Profile Reveal, click Open, and it opens up a new template. And the first thing you'll notice is a reference plane, and that's defining the face of the wall. And on one side of it is uh, noting the substance of the wall. So what you're going to do is you're going to draw a section of the reveal, and you can make any shape you want using the Line tool. So at the top of the screen, I'll choose the Line tool. And using any of these tools, um, I can draw whatever this, this section needs to be. Um, it can be irregular or it can be curved, um, but the only thing is, is it has to be a closed loop. So make sure, uh, starting at the face of the wall and drawing the section, you uh, finish by going back and closing the loop. Another thing I use, um, reveals for in walls is to create breaks for precast panel sections. So if you know the thickness of the wall that the reveal is going in, into, you can actually create a reveal that goes the entire depth of the wall to resemble a, a break in wall panels uh, in plan in an elevation. Once the profile is done, you want to save it out to give it a name. Going back to the big R, I'll do a save as family. And I'll name it for this new reveal.
Once it's saved and you've given it a name, you want to load it back into the project by choosing Load into Project at the top of the window. And now that it's loaded, you want to create a new reveal type using that profile. So to do that, go back to the Reveal tool under the Home tab, pull down Wall and choose Reveal. And now with one selected, you want to go to its Type Properties. So I'll choose Element Properties, pull down to Type. And then click Duplicate to duplicate to create a new reveal type. I'll call this one New Reveal Type. Click OK. And under its type properties, you can see the profile parameter where you can pull down the pull down menu and choose the new reveal that you've um, loaded into your project. Once you do that and click OK, um, you're ready to start placing that reveal. And I'll hit Finish Current. I'll hit Escape a couple times to get out of the Place Reveal tool. And so um, the same process is applied for creating ho or sweeps, excuse me. So to create a sweep, I'll first want to create a new profile for the sweep. So I'll go ahead and go to the big R, new family. And this time in family templates, I want to choose a profile hosted. Instead of profile reveal, I want to choose profile hosted to create a new sweep. Click op open. And in here it's essentially the same thing. Uh, host face is defining the, the face of the wall. And then on one side um, is showing the substance of the wall, the host side. So using the line tool, I'll just draw out, starting at the face of the wall, I'll just draw out whatever shape it needs to be. And it can even go in, into the wall as well. Just make sure that it closes uh, the loop. After that, give it a name. And this, this time I'll call it New Sweep. Save and load into the project. And now to place a sweep, I'm going to um, pull down the wall tool and choose wall sweep. Here I'll go ahead and uh, use, using the, the type properties, I'll click on that to create a new type by clicking duplicate and I'll call this new sweep. Click OK and under its profile I'll pull down and choose the new sweep profile that I've created. Clicking OK I can now place this sweep profile and I'll hit escape to get out of the tool. Selecting the sweep, um, just like selecting the reveal, uh, you'll notice control arrows. By clicking on these, you'll actually be able to flip it uh, upside down and right side up. With reveals and sweeps, you can also place them while you're still in a 3D mode. So clicking on the 3D view shortcut at the top of the screen, or, or, or orbit around, and using the sweep tool, I can start placing the sweep in a 3D view. And you, you notice that once it's placed, it'll automatically join as you wrap it around the other, the other wall. I'll go ahead and delete it and show you that at the ends, you can also change how the um, ends appear at a wall as well. Selecting the mullion, if you click on the Modify Returns tool at the top of the screen, you'll notice in the option bar uh, an angle that you can change. If the angle is less than 90 degrees, and you click on the end, it bevels it inside. Using the tool, after selecting the sweep, I'll click Modify Returns again. And you can see, obviously, if it's over 90 degrees, you, you type in the degrees here, select the end, and it turns it out. From here, you can use the grab handle, and you can start stretching it out in different directions as well.